Right, hey, what's up, everyone? We're going back to Volcano Pines Palms here. The back nine on the Pro, and we are just going to get our alignment here and go with the B3. I like to do this to keep this up at, on as high a ground as possible. So what that will allow us to do is have a nice clean look and get over this mountain here. So with this tailwind, I'm thinking I may go six wood, especially with where the where the hole is positioned. Another thing I could probably do here is I wouldn't need to use the backspin shot. I can probably carry this well far enough. So I just got to kind of make a judgment call. Is the backspin going to be kind of a better way? I got to make sure that I get back towards the pin. I think this will get back to the pin, so I'm just going to keep it on. So let me just pull back and get this needle where I want it, right there. And as you can see, right around pin high, and we actually got some great shot points out of that shot. As I mentioned, you know, I barely got there. I was trying to make a judgment call like is it gonna is it gonna carry to there is it gonna be short of there and I knew it was gonna be you know plus or minus maybe three or four yards so anytime that it's close to getting to the pin then I'll probably just pull the trigger because even if it did come up a little bit short you know I'm okay there it would it would be a relatively straightforward easy putt so here even with the tailwind we're going to just put on a bronze tee because we are at the back tees and we do want to just try to get this up just as a little bit as far as possible. So let's try this, see what that looks like. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. Without as much tailwind, you know, we would have had to play just a little bit less aggressive line. So keep that in mind. This is the five wood. I think I'm going to need to be pretty close to blasting this, so it'll be close. Might need to come in off of it a little bit, but at the same time, do I want to risk coming in off of it? So 99%, and that's still a little bit too much. I'd rather be somewhat conservative here into the green. We're gonna just kind of go for this a little bit. Up five. And as you can see, we're able to roll it in, take some of that breakout. That might roll off into the fringe or rough if I miss that, but um, it's you know kind of close enough that I feel comfortable there to at least take a risk. So as you can see, that's what I did. 209, 240. Thinking we can maybe go something along the lines of aim here and just kind of bend it around the mountain a little bit. Uh, too much I'm not sure if that's too much power wise we are going to come in off of this a little bit so that's what you can see here somewhere around maybe 95 percent hold up oh so just rolls down into the rough if I would have kept that on that fringe, I would have got a nice easy putt. And it was just too much. So hopefully we can execute here. So typically what I'll do, maybe four to five bars for the uphill. We'll really try to land it a little bit longer. I want to make sure it lands over the fringe. So you'll see that I'm just trying to get that up a little bit. Other than that, we're just going to have to be really precise with the way that we push through. Make sure that we are pushing straight through. Because that club pulls very hard the slightest off center and you're going to cost yourself on that one so this is not going to be the easiest of shots to pull off here you can maybe go in bronze t backspin for sure somewhere over in here for my alignment Just trying to get this safely on. That's not a nice pin. So I'm thinking about going for this. But I'm also, if I am going to go for it, just kind of play it over here to the safe. 
I'm not going to try to bend it around there. Very tough shot to do. So three wood. Maybe able to get the four there. It might just barely sneak there with because it's so much downwind. So I'm going to, I guess, try it. Just try to barely get this there. Oh, it's a little bit deeper than I thought it would be. Oh, and I left it on the green. Oh, no. And here you can see it's essentially going to cost me a bit. I don't know whether to try to beat it through there. It's not really makeable. So you can see I just kind of beat it up there, hop it over. And we'll just take take the bird, I guess, because we did bring it in a little bit hot. Just a little bit. Just goes to show sometimes with the wind in those woods. It's, it's, it's still hard for me to predict sometimes. Because there's times that you will come up short. You know, it is it, it kind of plays kind of uphill there. You come up short if you're not uh, if you're not careful. So here we are. We're going to play this well out to the right. Down seven. So into a headwind. I feel pretty confident about this, that it's going to get there. And then I can stop it relatively quick. But, you know, sometime on those tailwind situations, I may try to switch balls and use a better ball. But I feel pretty confident with this. Um, I think it's going to come in just a bit too hot. So let's take off a couple yards here. <clears throat> also, you can see I, I wanted to make sure you know, that I don't get too aggressive there. And here we're just going to take out a lot of this break. Just beat this right into the hole. Make sure we don't miss it. This is not what I like to see. So let's go roll here. Is this enough power? I do think it is. I think I'm going to make it to the fairway. So considering that I'm going to make it to the fairway, probably just go B3. If I wasn't going to make it to the fairway, I'd probably want to avoid that shot. I, I typically don't go B3 there. I typically just go straight. With how much wind, I just wanted to make sure that I could keep this as left as possible to try to stay out of these trees. So this is what I'm thinking. Um, it does play somewhat uphill here. I'm thinking maybe 10-ish yards or so on a four iron. So, you know, I'm probably going to have to come in just a little bit percentage-wise. I'm also going to maybe just cut this a little bit. Well, I had it there where I wanted. We come in about five, five or six percent. And it looks like 95 there, and it was pretty on point. Almost got in there for some great shot points. You can see that just baby fade, um, kind of with the wind there. You can see that the wind really started taking over that. If I would have just got one more percent on that, probably would have got some great shot points. Now, with this one into the headwind, I'll probably just throw on a bronze tee. Make sure that this gets up over and back into the fairway. So, I will on this one typically bend this around. We're going to go three wood here, driver. Won't need the top spin. This alignment looks pretty good. Just come in just a little bit, and we're going to hook it very hard around the tree. Probably didn't even have to come in, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. That is a nasty wind here. So, 17 yards. This may just sneak there with the 5 iron. The 4 iron, it might not be enough. But the 5, I think I'll make it there. This is definitely kind of a risky shot here, so I'm going to aim over into the water 
This wind should bring it back and down and down by the hole. We got some great shot points for that. So taking the risk can pay off if you do, you know, execute all those great shot points. Um, you know, we're essentially birdie birdie away from a three star pro campaign. So what I'll typically do on this one is we'll do a little bit more of a punch here. Try to bring this pin in lower. 115, 164. That wind's going to play at least 20 yards, I know. So 20 yards off of that. 140. Maybe come in 10%. Not going to come in much here. 10, 15%, I'm thinking. Just to be on the safe side, just 87. 85% so looks like it would have been money, but you can see it just comes in very controlled when you do it like that. So very good, good way to get that one in close. And if you just nail that percentage, you know, we'll be all over that one. Oh, so, so this wind is enticing to go for it. We know we can get there. Um, it's going to require some kind of hook shot and probably a sniper ball just to be on the safe side. So I'm thinking something along the lines of this, maybe even go bronze T just to give it just a little bit extra. I'll, I'll typically maybe come in just a little bit closer on the trees here because this is very hard to get around the trees here on this type of wind. And we're going to need... Kind of a substantial hook shot as well. And you can see that actually came in really well. Did it stay on? Nope. So we didn't get the points for it staying on. However, the sh oh no, it did. 16 feet, it says. So it barely stayed on. So we're actually going to get the points for that. And you can see a well played shot. We're going to have a nice eagle here. 16 feet. You know, you can just take out a lot of that break. Minus 12 on this scorecard. So you can see, you know, kind of the strategy that I played. Keep in mind that that wind, it, you know, it's so pointed to the left that you kind of got to over, over slice that. So I sliced that really hard on that shot. And it still wound up to the left of the hole. A lot of people put that wind in the water. I, I was one of them. You know, it's very hard to convince yourself to, to slice it hard enough. Because the wind, what happens is it just resists all that slice that you're trying to apply. So you have to almost double the amount of slice, which would typically, if there was no wind, I would only have to go half that slice for it to get over there. So that's where one of those things is you just got to kind of be kind of a situational player. And the better that you get with that, the better that you're going to do. So hopefully, you know, that those tips are helpful to you and seeing these um, playthroughs are getting you a little bit more confident with your game. Good luck with your progress and see you guys next time.